Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. Before we get into this video, I do have a few announcements. I quickly want to say thank you guys for tuning in, supporting my channel. I have been really blessed and thankful for this year as I always do. So I'm hoping to spread that positive vibe to you guys. I think it's going to be an amazing 2020 new year to come. So it's crazy because we grew up as a 90s kid. Speaking for myself because I know there's different audiences and generations that watches this channel. So me as a 90s kid, I remember 2020 or anything over 2000 was like so far in the future. But in actuality, it wasn't too far from where we were. <laughs> Anyways, we just celebrated holidays with the family. It was a great time, good food, watching the kids open presents, seeing family near and far, people we haven't seen forever, or just everyday family that we see. It was just a great time. So I'm just here to spread some positive vibes out there for everybody. Also, I need to congratulate my two holiday winners from my recent holiday giveaway. Congratulations to Serenity and Chan. Hope you guys enjoyed the package. It's currently en route to you guys, so you guys should be getting that shortly. All right, guys, we just need to jump into this Best of Beauty 2019. Otherwise, this video is going to be like super long. I do have all my things here, so I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as possible. So let's get through this now. First Best of Beauty 2019 product is that guy right there it's gonna be my skin fridge i kid you not guys it looks really cute there as a decorational piece but it is actually a really good product not only does the store cans of cokes bottles of water i put all of my skincare products in there you guys see me use it it's a really good tool to use to cool down your products when applying on nice cooling effect and it really does make a difference if you guys haven't seen it i did a skin fridge tour that goes over almost everything that's inside. So if you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and link that down below. This has been such a lifesaver. You guys know I have my blonde hair here, which is blonde now. It originally was more silver and using this actually toned it in between the times I went to go see my girl. So I can do this at home and kind of take the yellow out. Used this on my hair about a few weeks ago, so it's still kind of like silverly, but it could use another touch up before the year ends. <laughs> Every single day, guys, I have been using this. This is a moisturizer by Supergoop that has SPF 40. Lately, I've been using this moisturizer with a tinted moisturizer on top or even like a concealer just to spot treat. It literally makes my skin very glowy without adding too much glowing products. Another glowing product as a skincare prep. This is an amazing glowing lotion or like a toner. So you use a cotton round to apply this on top and you lightly just go ahead and exfoliate the skin after you have cleansed it. It really does give you a glowing but also brightening type of fresh skin. You guys know I talked about this all year long. I wear this like every day. Now, in addition to the super goop, seriously, this gives you like a glowing effect, but really does protect your skin when you're out there in the sun. Let's talk about this lip real quick. So I'm wearing this one by Shiseido. This is their new gel formulation lipstick and it's seriously so creamy, non-drying whatsoever, and I love this color. You guys know I love that terracotta color because it's so bricky but orangey red. Jeffree Star also has a really good lip stain that I currently just discovered. It's a cream lip stain. The color is also really nice. This has so much pigment. The applicator is amazing. It has like a rounded little tip here so you can actually hug, line your lips nice and perfectly. Nude Sticks. This is my absolute favorite tinted moisturizer on earth. This doesn't contain any sunscreen, which is totally fine because I always wear sunscreen separately. This formulation is super lightweight, but it does have a slight amount of coverage, which I like. But I can also pair it with additional concealer if needed. Go big or go home. <laughs> this is the Kat Von D mascara. I love this formulation because it actually works on my lashes when I don't wear falsies. It's a really big applicator but this applicator has like a tree shape like so I can really build at my lashes from roots to tips. Of course, with any mascara, you always want to layer it and let it dry in between so you can build more so it doesn't clump up or kind of weigh down. This formulation is actually really good because it doesn't harden my lashes nor flake. I also believe she came out with a waterproof formulation, so if you guys like that, she has that. I don't know where I've been because Ofra Cosmetics, especially their highlighters, legit. So creamy, one swipe. You see that? 
so pretty. I've been wearing this in my last few videos and when I'm going out to work, this is such a great formulation. It's not too chunky. They do remind me of the Becca highlights, but they're just as creamy and as good. What you guys know about Sunny's face? <laughs> if you're from the Philippines or visit there or who have friends or family that's Filipino and they tell you that they went to this place called Sunny's which are these really cute sunglass boutiques in malls, they came out with a makeup line. This lipstick is like their velvet matte moussey lipstick formulation. I love the textures of these and of course you know I love this color too. These actually stay on your lips. I also purchased a brow pencil from them. So it's a regular traditional spoolie and a wind-up pencil. I got this color in ash brown. This is a good pencil to go back in, straighten out my brows, maybe elongate a little bit for areas I miss with my first application. Venus Free! I think that's how you say it. This is the Korean skincare line, also a sister company of Laneige and Amore. I love, love these super peachy, balmy lip balms. The applicators are my favorite. It's just the same as my Jack Black lip balms. You can wear this as toppers or alone. I really love the textures, super lightweight, but I also love the flavors they offer, especially the white peach. Kat Von D shade palette, hands down, is the best contouring palette. I love the smoothness of the palettes. They actually have individual pans that you can take out, put them in a Z palette, or just leave them in here. You guys know I love my eye patches. <laughs> I use these a lot for my skin preps on my brides, grooms, myself, I'm going to an event, or if I just need a little bit to help with that depuffing and tightening around the eyes. For the days that I know I have to put on a lot of concealer because I have darkness, I'm gonna make sure I put this on before putting extra eye cream so that way I can avoid those creases and textures around the eyes. This is the cucumber one that helps with depuffing, it cools the eyes. I also have the gold ones which are my absolute favorite. Sephora Collections Glowing Hydrating Moisturizer. This has been a hit, affordable, glowing, lightweight, it really does its job. Melt Cosmetics Lipsticks. Creamy, matte, I can wear this alone. I can use this as a lip liner with any other formulations. This is a very neutral, corally color that I can wear with most of my lipstick shades that I own. NYX's Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. This is such an amazing color, I can wear this on top smells so good and it gives me a quick touch up super bougie but this works magic this is the La Mer soft moisturizer that everyone raves about this was an extremely expensive buy so I had to wait till I got my VIB Rouge the 20% off to purchase this and this was already $85 Hourglass's new Caution Mascara. This has worked magic on my eyes. This is actually really old because it's basically used and abused, but I did redeem this during the 100 point perk that Sephora had at that one time, and I redeemed four of them. So this was the first one that I actually finished and I really did like it, so I went back for more. Since this is all milk, I'm gonna talk about this. This is their gel eyeline, which I highly recommend and love. One, it has a little smudger, so you can smudge your eyeliner if you choose to. The second side is a retractable pencil as I use to tight line, especially when I'm wearing falsies. This is not waterproof, but it does its job and it stays on. Kush Mascara. This is another formulation that works well with my lashes. One, it has fiber bristles. The fiber bristles remove extra product so it doesn't clump up and it actually extends it. So the oils in this formulation does give me extra hydrating properties. Another Kush Kush. <laughs> now this lip balm has no tint but it does hydrate my lips a lot and just a side note either one of these does not have a smell moving on to foundation this beautiful pat mcgrath subline foundation is to die for this formulation smells good it's light on the skin it gives like a glowing radiant skin finish especially when i'm adding additional hydrating and glowing properties but it also photographs really well in pictures so i normally don't wear blush as you guys know but overall i felt like this was a really good beauty product for this year why because they don't really make cream blushes anymore so that's why i was like I need to get this because because they don't make them anymore and it's really hard to find so of course I had to buy one in the lightest colored shade this is such a beautiful color it's very moussey and it stays on the skin you guys know I love using sponges. This one I just discovered from Morphe. Like, where have I been? This is such an amazing sponge. It is a traditional rounded applicator like the Beauty Blender. Also has a nice straight line and flat. 
This is really good if I really want to get that nice winged liner, clean up my eyeliner or eyeshadow. This is a really good corrector sponge, but at the same time, it's a good application. This is a robot. <laughs> this is from Guerlain, and this definitely was a splurge because I had the opportunity. I mean, because I didn't need it, I wanted it. You spent over $75, you get like $25 off or that 20% off like later in this month, which had passed already, so sorry guys. But I have been eyeing this lipstick for like years. So this is a very bougie, but this is so cool. You pull the lipstick down. This is such a cool mirror and here's the lipstick. This is like a lip balm. There's actually like no color. Where do I have room here? It just basically gives you a super slight tint and hydration. But what I really like about this is the mirror and the case because the case is like a pearl pink. This benefits you because there's a mirror. It's not as practical because it is kind of heavy. Lip Stories by Sephora Collection. You guys know I love these. I talk about them. They're affordable. They have great color choices. And of course, I had to get this brand new shade, number 63. And of course, you guys see a color theme here. <laughs> this is a matte formulation, but it's not dry at all. Still super creamy, but rich in formulation and color. Super Goop Invisible. This gives you a super matte finish. There's no color, but it also helps smooth out the skin if you have pores and texture. And it's also going to protect you because it has SPF 40. Side here is the 27 palette by Milk Cosmetics. You have guys seen me use this. The color payoff is amazing. I love the colors. I've done smoky looks with these. Mixtures of matte and shimmers. I just really love the company. I've even bought their Stax ones, so I can talk about these because I've used them. They are very convenient to take with you. They have great colors to choose from. I'm just really happy these indie companies are coming into Sephora's. A lot of people haven't heard of Milk Cosmetics or other smaller companies until they were introduced to Sephora stores. I actually knew about them and I'm happy they're in Sephora because it's easier for us to shop there that doesn't live in LA because they're based there or even knew that they exist. So it's great that Sephora's are offering these other smaller companies so makeup junkies like myself can shop there. All right, guys, I know that was a lot of things to cover, but I say for this year, these are like the best of beauties that I came across. But I have to say, these are like the best of beauties for this year that I actually use, like, and would recommend to you guys. So of course, as always, I'll put everything down in the info box for you guys. I really hoped you guys had a great holiday. I'm hoping for more videos to come. As I always say, be positive, be kind, also keep your hard work in school, work, your passion, follow your dreams. You will get far as long as you just keep going at it and just don't give up. I know sometimes in life it can be hard, you fail, you feel discouraged. It's hard to jump back to where you are. I know how it is, I've been there. You just have to be strong, you just have to stay positive, build up that courage, have that confidence and just keep pushing because there's no one else that's gonna push you but yourself. So I hope this was inspirational to you guys. I hope I have been to you, my channel. It's very important to get support from your friends, your family, your loved ones. Just be focused and you'll get far. All right, All right guys, thanks for watching the last video of the year. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any requests on videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in 2020. Sorry for the raspy voice, but it's just been like this for quite some time. All right guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.